Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. I'm the Arkansas RC Newbie, and on today's episode, we are going to be doing a little bit of soldering. Everybody's favorite thing to do in the RC world, right? In the hobby world. Um, I am a big fan of soldering, as you guys can tell. I've got my awesome soldering station here. Got a soldering gun over there. Got the Flip Enjoy little soldering iron that's portable. You can take it with you and solder wherever the heck you want to solder. And then we have got this guy, the new Acolox, new Acolox, $26. $26 soldering iron. Um, it's a 60 watt soldering iron automatic um, solder feeder. It's supposed to be the bee's knees. All right, so on today's episode, we are going to be checking out these Z power batteries I've got. They have a funky plug on them. I'm going to show you guys here in a second. I've got a funky plug on there. We're going to be soldering and changing it out to an XT60. So not only is this going to be a how Arkansas RC newbie solders, but it's going to be a soldering iron kit episode. All right, so please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get after it. All right, let's open this. Now, I just want to let everybody know out there that new Acolox uh, has, uh, they, didn't, they didn't pay me anything for this. Uh, we'll call it the initial impressions and real-time review. They didn't pay me anything for this. Uh, they just asked, hey, you are a, um, you got an RC channel. It looks like you know what you're doing, and we would like to send you a soldering iron. All right, so the first thing we got here is a little thank you card. Pretty cool. Looks like a little instruction manual. Okay, I like that. It actually comes with some solder. Uh, now, this solder is lead-free solder wire. I've never used one of these before. This is a desoldering tool. So if you guys have a pool, if you're working like on some electronics or something like that, and you got a little pool of solder that pulls up, apparently you can just squeeze that guy down like that, put it on there, bam, and it sucks up that solder. Where the solder goes, I don't know. All right, now here is the soldering kit. We're going to call it a kit. Uh, we've got the little feeder wheel. Here is where you put your ammo, your ammunition. You feed this guy through the little feeder hole. And then we, I think we got a little open window here. A little easy access. Well, damn, now I know why it comes with picks. All right, you can see that's kind of kind of busy in there, but everything just feeds through. Now, I don't know how you control the speed of which the wire goes through, but we're about to find out here in a second. We're going to push this down. All right, she feeds through there. Feeding through on the tip. I'm going to pull that through a little bit. All right, so we've got that handled now. Okay, so it, this is automatic, right? And I don't know how you adjust the speed. If you can adjust the speed, that's going to be an issue because if it's way too fast, hopefully, yeah, they see, that's like just an on and off. Oh, oh there's some different levels. You guys hear that? I'm guessing that's going to be the different speed variations. Okay, so I just plugged this guy in, and here's the on and off button. We're going to turn it on. Something that kind of bothers me there is there is no... The tip's already starting to get hot, but there's no lights or anything on this saying, hey, this is, it's, it's going. We're going. We're green. Oh. So you plug it in to get the heat, and then this guy here, I'm going to hold this wire down. Look. Oh, you just finger pull it. And it goes. Ah. I don't know why. I was hoping that I was going to have a motor. I want it to go and start feeding through. I think it'd be kind of cool, but all right. 26 bucks, that's what you get with that. So these are the 11.1 volt 100C 850 milliamp 3S RC batteries. These things are awesome for crawling. Look how small that is. This right here will probably last me about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but the problem is with these batteries, they've got this weird end on there, and that will not work with my truck. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be soldering on the XT60 with the soldering iron. Hopefully it works and hopefully it does a good job. Now my soldering station over here, the XT60, I love it. Um, and what we're going to use off of it today, we're actually going to bum off apart. We're going to use these little helping hands. These helping hands right here um, are amazing. If you guys have not had, or if you don't have a soldering iron station like this, um, make sure you go out and get one. Like really, just use my fill links and get one. This thing's getting super hot. I can feel the heat coming off of there. Good thing is I can lay it on its side and the tip doesn't hurt anything. Get that all hemmed up. Now, very important on this that we do not cut these wires at the same time. All right, that's that's that'd be no bueno. You cannot cut these at the same time. I'm gonna cut this guy here. If you do, that sucker's gonna arc. All right, so we're just gonna leave that negative hanging out there like so. This sucker right here is getting red damn hot, red hot. 
Okay. I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to set this on here. We're going to heat it up. You see that? How it, how it dripped back real quick. It pulled back. See, you have to be like straight up and down in order for it to drip down. It's, it's peeling off. I keep doing this. Look, see that? It just keeps on going right back into itself. That's the problem with this. And I knew that was going to be an issue. Now i got to burn that off because that stun got really hot. Now the tip of it's getting hot. We're going to hold it on there. you got to have steady hands for this job, huh? See, I don't like that. That ain't right. I'm ready to get my wire way too hot. I'm starting to burn the, um, the rubber on this thing. You know, that's, that's not a good design. What they need to do, and I'm fixing to do it, what they need to do is bend that down. If you guys are enjoying this episode, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully the tip of the solder will meet the tip of the iron. Now she's working. See now that solder is going directly to the wire as opposed to going to the tip. It's still bent down a little bit, but definitely not going to be the cleanest of jobs. Heck of a lot better once you actually bend those tips, bend that bottom tip, where it starts to make contact right on the tip. I mean, look how close that is. That's I probably couldn't have done a better job. I'm going to pat myself on the back. Look at that. These are, they're filled in. I mean, it's, it's going to pull up in the bottom. Yeah, I just, I'm not used to this, and I don't, I'm not really digging it. And we're filling it up, we're filling it up, we're filling it up. Okay, now. All right, she's filled up with solder. That should harden up no problem. That side is filled up with solder. Oh, man. What is going on here? You see how that's pulled out now? It got so hot it pulled itself out, or it, like, melted the plastic. That's not good. Okay. I think she's okay now. Had to get it so hot just so I could start making contact with that solder, and it ruined it. It's all melted now. It's all melted. Look, man. I don't know. Um, maybe it has. It's burning a hole in. Here. Maybe it has a place. Um, maybe it has a place somewhere. It's not for me. It doesn't have a place on Arkansas RC Newbie's channel. Uh. I'm glad you guys got to see it. If you guys want to get one that's 26 bucks, what you're going to use it for, I don't know. I was real, I had some high hopes on this thing too, man. I was really excited about it. I just thought it was the coolest thing. That tip is getting so damn hot. You guys see that? It's red hot. Red hot. I'm going to have to use my soldering station now to get these batteries properly soldered on there with the proper amount of heat because my XT60 actually has a little dial knob on there where we can mess with the heat. If you guys haven't seen the episode, make sure you guys go and check it out. I gotta find me some more XT60 connectors and get to work. But uh, guys, that was another Arkansas RC Newbie episode. I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next episode.